The Ugandan troops were killed alongside Somali forces as they conducted a joint patrol in Lower Chabelle region on Sunday. Today, legislators noted that this was a matter of national importance. Lumiaga County MP Sriodo Sechkubo asked government to give a clear statement on the Somali situation. The U.S. and Britain were before in Iraq, in Afghanistan, but it reached a point when they withdrew from those countries. So we demand as a country for government not only to keep quiet, but also to come out and tell us as a country what are the losses we have suffered in Somalia. We have lost people. Even if not one person is still the citizen of this country, it's still the son daughter of this country, is still a father of some child somewhere. It's still our responsibility to account for them and handle them in the best way possible. Sechkuba noted that government has not been clear about the number of troops that have been killed since 2007 when it deployed troops to Somalia. I had an opportunity to make a statement before parliament to tell us how many exactly our gallant soldiers were killed in Somalia. Number two, what happens to the bereaved families? Number three, for how long will Uganda continue sacrificing for the entire world, yet we are a poor and poor country? Some MPs insisted that the troops in the war-torn country need more support. There is no respect for the army, the way they are treating them is not good. Even they don't have any amicable solution, of which they would tell us. Are uh, Ugandans and they, 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 they represent our country, Uganda. They are going to Somalia is not sanctioned by the institutions of Uganda. Others believe that the presence of Ugandan troops in Somalia shall help curb terrorism. If we retreat now, uh, we will remove our soldiers from Somalia. The, the Al Shabaab is everywhere. They will still come here and, and inflict pain on the civilians. So. Uh, I think um, what we need to do is for the government now to come up with a comprehensive report of those people who died. And how is the operation? Is it successful? Is it a failure? Do we have challenges? How can we help as a country? How can we help as a parliament? Do we need to, to review our position so that we ask our, 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 our soldiers to come back? Defense Minister Adolf Mueska said a statement detailing the number of deceased will be released. The 12 bodies of our gallant soldiers will be flown to Uganda and received tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. The seven injured soldiers are continuing to receive treatment at Mogadishu Level 2 Hospital. The number of Somali casualties is yet to be determined. More research all in TV at Parliament.